that's what you want to be doing here. You want to be executing when everybody's going to buy Netflix at the top end of the range. That's the uninfor uninformed or capitulating volume or both. And at the low end of the range, you want to be covering some. You should be agnostic, right? If, if, you're, if your thing is, I love my single stock shorts, you got to stop that love. Shorts are units of inventory. I teach this all the time, coach it all the time. People may or may not understand what that means. It just means that on the board, whether it's Netflix, that's just a dot. Okay, let's make it red because it's a short, it was a sh short dot up until today. Now it's neutral. Neutral to me, it's either off the page or what I just said, which is how I'd risk manage it depending on your setup. But my inventory, I, you know, again, I have, what, 100 units of inventory, something like that, that I could short. They're just dots. So why wouldn't I short any of the other FANG components that are A, bearish trade and trend, and B, towards the top end of the range? Enter Microsoft. So Microsoft is a way better short to have on here than that. But why, are you, why aren't you indifferent? I ask you, for you and your family and your friends. Maybe not your friends, like they give a shit what you do in your PA. People don't care. They might say they care. But what they really want to do is make money for themselves. So why wouldn't you have that unit of inventory, choose that dot, instead of that dot? Today, something changed. And it shouldn't be your emotions. It should be, ah, shit, OK? That unit of inventory is not as valuable as the other unit of inventory. I would all day long have Microsoft or Apple on instead of Netflix as of today. It's the only thing on the page that doesn't say bearish. <laughs> so yep. you, you got to respect that or not, or you're going to get an education through that. I just gave you mine, which has taken 23 years to design a process for that. I just want to remove the emotion and attachment to stocks and ideas and narratives. Right? The narrative is what Netflix wants it to be. They may or may not be correct by April of next year, and that's a long time from here. Hey there, Hedgeye Nation, or if you're not part of Hedgeye Nation, thanks for watching Hedgeye on YouTube. If you haven't already, make sure to click on the button below there. Subscribe to our YouTube page. You can also follow the link in the description to our website to get even more great investing content.